it's determined to win. Ups and downs, win and loss, pass and fail. That was the way of a long winding roads to success. Now here I am, standing before you. I submit myself to all of you and proudly proclaim that we did it. My dear fellow graduates, the first step has been successful. Ika nga, the roots of education is bitter, but the fruit it bears is very sweet. Everything in this world has to start in order to accelerate and reach its finish line. In our case, we had just accomplished the beginning. We had just started the first right move. Hence, there is no reason why we should fail in our future undertakings. All together, let us move forward. Dahil kapag sama-sama, kayang kaya. Allow me to thank those who have helped me to be the top achiever and lead the cream of the crop. I may not be able to mention all of you by name, but rest assured that I'm infinitely grateful to everyone who has put me on this place today. First and foremost, I would like to thank our Lord God. Without Him, none of this would have been possible. To all the teachers I have had in my life, thank you. All of you have contributed to who I am today, and although I am far from being perfect, I believe that I'm a much better person than the person I would have been if I had not met all of you. To all the subject teachers and the class advisors whom I considered second parents inside the school, Ma'am Blasilda Raposas, Ma'am Jessilyn Mariano, Ma'am Marilu Fuderanan, and my current advisor, Ma'am Christina Marie Senosa, a heartful thanks to all of you. To my art mentors, Ma'am Michelle C. Reyes, and Ma'am Anna Cabiasa, thank you. To our dearest principal, Ms. Luisa K. Mendoza, our department head, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for motivating me, inspiring me, and most of all, encouraging me to excel. Thank you for imparting me the knowledge that I can share with everyone. Most of all, I would like to thank my loving parents, my mom, Janet Tatlonghari, and my dad, Edgar Tatlonghari, who are always with me, giving their 100% support. Mom, Dad, I share with you my honor and achievements. All of my achievements are not only mine, but also yours. Because without your hard work and encouragement, I would not be standing here and talking to every one of you. <laughs> to my brother, Kuya Joshua Enric Tatlonghari, and to my sister, Alicia Jade, I, share, I want to share with you this honor and achievement. To all my friends and classmates who are always with me through my journey, throughout my journey, Kelly, Sarah, Jamila, Justine, Jewel, J. Ann, Alex, thank you. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. My dear fellow graduates, let's all stand up and give a round of applause to our parents and teachers. Let's keep it up. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. Once again, thank you and congratulations. Congratulations, Eliza. And now, let us have on stage engineer Edgar A. Tatlonghari, a proud parent of our valedictorian for his response. To our distinguished guest, Honorable Gonaranao B. Mosur, our Head of Administration and Finance, Ms. Villa A. Inguilo, our beloved principal, Ms. Luisa K. Mendoza, our department head, Ms. Florida D. Bakel, administrators, faculty, staff, parents, graduates, guests, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant afternoon. The most awaiting day has finally come. I know our sons and daughters are all expecting for this momentous time but they don't know what we feel right now and how excited we are as parents to see them in their cap and gown walking up to this stage to receive diploma 
and much more with awards as an added bonus. It would seem fitting to speak of the pride I feel for my daughter's accomplishments. The wonder of having such a beautiful and talented daughter and the hope I have for her future. But I would like first to share to all the parents here and Elijah's co-graduates how she started picking up pieces and built her confidence on what she has achieved now after migrating here in Qatar. When I brought in my beloved family here in Qatar in 2011, that was a wish came true and prayers granted. I took with me my wife, Jeanette, my children, Joshua, Elijah, and Jezra. I was so happy, yet scared, that my children will not blend with Qatar society and its diverse culture. Elijah has shown her academic excellence and artistic talents since her preschool years. She was always cheerful and friendly. She had many friends, both in her school and in our village. I asked myself then, was I so selfish that I took them away from their wonderful world? Like all fathers and mothers abroad, I only wanted to be with my dear family while working overseas. When Elijah and her brother Joshua started attending their school classes here in our prestigious PISQ, I was observing and assisting them very closely. I knew they were still in wait-and-see attitude. They were still adjusting to their new school environment. They are carefully threading their moves. I didn't want to see them failing. It will break my heart. Every day, I ask Elijah about her day-to-day -day school experience and the friends and classmates she has acquainted with. I was so happy and surprised when one day she brought home two trophies. She won first prize for both essay writing contest and drawing contest sponsored by Filipino Community Center. That was the first and the beginning of series of awards and achievements she earned. She started joining in other school activities and competing in and out of school in every opportunity that comes. As parents, we are very proud of her. Elijah's mother always vents her happiness through Facebook. We started realizing that we are right in our direction to have with us here our children. She is more vibrant than before, more determined to be in the top of her class. Perhaps because she sees her mother and I physically supporting her and she feels that her efforts are being appreciated, not in exchange of material things, but love and care. Her kuya and younger sisters are always cheerful, cheer up whenever she participates and competes, and whenever we saw her name in the list of top notchers or winners. Truly, we always thank God for all the blessings she receives each day. We are so grateful to our Almighty Father that she is earning along the way more friends, supporting teachers, cooperative classmates, and a lot of fellow parents who help my daughter in one way or another. My dear Elijah, we are humble but proud to have such a wonderful and talented daughter. I can't explain the happiness and the chill I feel right now. I ask you to focus to your studies, but I did not expect you. You will carry with you all the achievements. Keep it up, Habibi. But always remember, 
to keep your feet on the ground. Always bear in mind that all those gifts from God, your knowledge and talent has to be used properly for the glory of God. Elijah, and to all of you, her co-graduates, this is just beginning. You are just started and is still a long way to the finish line. Four years in junior high, two years in senior high, and a minimum of four years in college. You need to cross all those years to earn a degree. But your success will be defined when you land a good job and ultimately when you have successful family of your own. For now and as always, respect and follow your parents. They know what is best for you. Also help your parents to motivate, to be motiva motivated to work harder and provide you with what you need, not what you want. Your achievements in school are the best motivation for parents to work hard, aim high, and dream big. To the PISQ community, administration, teachers, academe, parents, thank you for accommodating my daughter, Elijah, for contributing a part of yours in order for her to gain confidence and spread her small wings. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, Engineer Edgar at Lunghari. At this point, may we call on Ms. Luisa K. Mendoza, our dear principal, together with our level head, Ms. Florida de Bacquel, to award the Certificate of Appreciation to Engineer Edgar A. Tatlonghari, sir. The certificate reads, Philippine International School, Qatar, and College State of Qatar, awards the Certificate of Appreciation to Engineer Edgar A. Tatlonghari, for his remarkable speech during the 15 commencement exercises of Philippine International School, Qatar, with the theme, Saktong Buhay sa Dekalidad na Edukasyon Pinanday. Given this 28th day of March 2015 at Qatar National Convention Center, Doha, State of Qatar, signed Luisa K. Mendoza, Principal. Thank you so much, Engineer Tatlonghari. And now, let us listen to our dearest graduates for their graduation song. A warm applause for them.
please be seated. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome and listen to the closing remarks to be given to us by our guidance counselor, Ms. Nui M. Martinez. To our head of administration and finance, Madam Vila Ingilio, our guest, Honorable Conora Naumusor, our school principal, Ms. Luisa Mendoza, our grade school level head, Ms. Florida Bakel, high school level head, Ms. Bernadette Makatangay, other members of the administration, teachers, parents, graduates, good afternoon. Today is one of those great occasions when we get to celebrate perseverance and success of, of these young achievers. This year's graduation theme, Decent Future Forged by Quality Education, reminds us of the value of education as you graduates conquer your dreams. It will also direct you to the path of a fruitful life. Graduates, there are so many ways if you only explore in order to attain your ambitions in life. All you have to do is to believe that you will be able to do it one day. You should know that your parents and your teachers are very proud of you. They have high hopes for you. You had some great time this year, and maybe you had some tough times too, but then you did it and you succeeded. You are now ready for the next step. There are great things coming, and just as your parents and your teachers are proud of you, you should also feel proud of yourself. And to finally close this graduation ceremony, let me leave you this final quote. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So make this as a powerful weapon to make a difference. Make your tassel worth the hassle. Congratulations. And now, I would like to invite everybody to sing the PISQ hymn. At this point in time, we would like to give our special thanks to the chairman and members of the graduation committee who spent many long hours in planning this event. And to everyone who made this event possible, thank you so much. Thank you, dear graduates. May you continue to raise the PISKN flag wherever you go. And keep the knowledge and values that you have learned from your alma mater. To our dear parents, we salute you for giving the best inheritance that any parent could give, education. Thank you, our dearest parents. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone, everyone for, for coming, coming to this momentous event. event. May, May God, God bless, bless us all. all. Ladies and gentlemen, the exit of colors. <laughs>